Hi everybody, welcome to an episode on power cuts and survival options. As the title suggests, I imagine most people in the UK have experienced sometime in their life a power cut or outage. My aim isn't to go in depth. A review as such, a must have, how to, or even lightweight ideas for backpackers, hikers, or campers, etc. There's plenty of reviews on the net. Let's get you started out of the starting blocks as quickly as I can. I hope keeping the content simple, not complicated, and as you can imagine, you can make a decision. If you come to this video, the item or items should help you, I hope. As always, Brian, stop faffing on and let's get into it. They say a couple of degrees Celsius above freezing helps the difference between being freezing or least comfortable. The next few ideas is going, hopefully, help you out. If you've ever heard about the pot heater, this is my take on two of them. Well, welcome to my attempts. Starting on here, this is my Lexada wood gasified stove. A ceramic plant pot, and I've got three tea lights. You can do more if it can fit in. And I've got a temperature gauge. If you can see it, 16.2 degrees. So the idea is place the tea lights And light them. I'm gonna use one of these little badges. And then placing the pot flower pot over at the top. I need to find a blocking plate on here then I'll give it some time oh. can you see straight away temperature has shot up it's now nearly 20 degrees just on the flower pot So, I will catch you up later, and probably a half an hour. But remember the temperature we had earlier on. Catch us later. This next idea using old bricks I got, raise the heater up.
and using a stainless steel bowl that I've got I'll place them on there hopefully in about half an hour they actually short up 27, 28, 30, 32 degrees and counting. You say it? Oh yeah. Try this. Well guys and girls, not in depth, but I hope that you can see the difference of using two methods, the flower pot and an old stainless steel um, basin. And as I said in the beginning, that's the difference between freezing and a few degrees warmer. As you can imagine, if you need the heat, the first thing I would always do is one, do a three layer list, uh, system or lead uh, clothing and as I said in the beginning, keep myself in one, one room until the power gets sorted. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. In event of putting the heaters in a separate room, i.e. a sitting room. The best thing you really need is a solid base to put the tail lights on. God forbid that you put the tail lights on a polished surface. Also, not everybody has carbon monoxide monitor so better to be safe than sorry crack open an, a window as you can probably realize the size of the flower pot and the stainless steel bowl one yeah it actually worked got a few degrees above the normal temperature but you can actually upgrade it with bigger flower pots as you can imagine as always i hope this video helped and as always thanks for watching please consider subscribing thumbs up and sharing catch you all later mm -hmm.